Hi guys, welcome back to Dog Card Reviews. We are here with part two of our Komasuba movie Legend of Crimson set review. I am joined once again by Gavin. The hype is not as real this time. Spoiler alert. But we will still be seeing some neat cards regards in our very giant pool of rag. And without further ado, we'll begin with none other than... Alright, believe in your friend's union. 0 0 Adventure of Magic. ETB, put the top two cards from your deck into the grave. This gains X power, where X is 1,000 times the number of guys that you milled. And the beginning of your opponent's draw phase, reveal the top card of your deck if it's only one higher. Go. Okay, so this definitely solves one of the glaring problems I've noticed with uh, these jumper profiles is they typically are tiny. Yep. Especially if it's just the jumper ability, they're just 2,000 power. Now, this does mean that these become. or this does mean that Bushio can justify swapping a higher rarity on them. I wish this was a rare, not a double rare. <laughs> oh, Pulse Bushy, my wallet hurts. Yeah, Komasuba decks are not cheap in either English or Japanese now. Um, yeah, the Legend of Crimson, the, the upgrades themselves costed me $250. Ouch. <laughs> but either way, I'm definitely giving this the playable list. Jumpers are one of my favorite, perhaps my favorite. Um, yeah, I'm like going to agree with the playable player. This is very, very good. Um, the fact that this is actually very, very big on the offense. Guys, I'm a 3-5 and I'm a jumper? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, well, possible 3-5, but still. <laughs> Alright, then. Yep, yep. Crimson Demon Village, Mega Man and Yung Yung. Level 0, 0 cost, 1500 power. Uh, Ultra, when a Aquamas is placed onto the Aquamas area, if that card has a door trigger icon, Choose one of your characters, and that character gets plus one soul until the end of your turn. And act, brainstorm, pay one restless. Uh, flip over the top four cards of your deck and send them to your waiting room. For each Quimax card revealed this way, salvage up to one character from your waiting room. Holy balls, Batman. We um, Thanks, Bushy, for building our deck for us, basically. Yeah, I'm like, uh, this, this card now actually means that we can finally move away from the stock soul finisher from set one. Oh. And not have to play Resonator anymore. I was about to say, you know, the funny thing is, for the past couple of years, I've been calling that Resonator our brainstorm. Oh, I even pretty much call it, hey, I'm, I'm a brainstorm. People know exactly what I'm talking about. Hey, now I can actually be, now I'm actually brainstorming. Wow. <laughs> yeah, like yes, now we now we actually have a higher chance to whiff, but hey, I ain't complaining. No, I ain't complaining either. And the fact that this helps Konosuba in those pesky, pesky standby matchups. Okay, sure, you have a two two wall here. Yeah, I'm gonna side for one. Yeah. Destroy that for destroy that for two or three, and then we'll destroy that for two or three. Like yeah, in increasing damage output in a deck that's already explosive at the top end, no pun intended. <laughs> Um, that it, it just really, really helps. Uh, really, really accelerate towards uh to get your opponent closer to the end game that much quicker. On top of I that, mean, the fact that the Soul Sleeper claims that his damage output is unmatched, yeah, cards like this exist, man. Like so, sure, our our usual two 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 now becomes two two three. Get out of here. <laughs> or three three two. Right. And I don't have to be playing garbage cards that only gain plus one soul. I can actually yeah. play cards that do something. So yeah, this is easily a playable plus. Yeah. We can we 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 come to looking out play plusing triggers uh, in fall now. Eight. Eight game, mate. <laughs> yep. To the Crimson Demon Village. Village wins. Zero zero fifteen hundred. If you have two or more of the guys, this gains one thousand. Okay, when this dies, you may pay the cost to pitch a card. If you do, check top four at a level one or higher. Reveal it and add to hand. Okay, so if you don't already have the Mega Man that checks top four on deck for magic characters, you have this as an option. Sure, this can't grab utility level zeros like some people. Some people are like, no. But at the same time, you can grab things like Foreclosure, Konami Code, Aqua. Yeah, the fact that this can grab uh, your non-magic characters is very useful. And the fact that two out of three cards I listed were events are mm -hmm. makes this very, very handy. 
And mm -hmm. the, and here's the other here's another thing that most people are missing. This card is also bulkier. Yep, twenty five hundred versus two thousand. Than any other opposite effect in the set. So the fact is that this can actually double knock with milk with vanilla mill runners now makes this a pretty damn good card in my opinion. So I'm gonna have to give this the the, the playable plus. Oh, playable plus. Yeah, you know what? It, it, it is it is a gig option as a hangout. And it's bigger. And it gets things like Mega Man doesn't get. But you know, you can run both, you can run one or the other. You probably will not notice too much of a difference. It's really player yeah. preference. Yep. I mean, I'm choosing to run the Mega Man, but at the same time, yeah. Alright. Anyway, moving along. Feelings on Explosion Magic Mega Man. Level 1, 0 cost, 4500 power. Continuous during your turn. This card gets 1000 power. And auto climax combo. When a card named Teasing, it is a door trigger by the way, is placed onto your climax area. If you have another adventure or magic character, this card gains the following two abilities until the end of your opponent's next turn. Auto when this card attacks, you may pay the cost of one stock. If you do, perform a trigger check twice during this attack's trigger step. And auto when this card is from to attack, you may return this card to your hand. Oh boy, Aaron style profiles. But at least unlike other Aaron clones, this does not need to reverse the character. This is very true. But at the same time, the twin drive is just kind of whatever. Like, we saw this in Psychonaut with Megan. And, and I, I've honestly seen this and the Utaha that blindstocks too. I, on reverse, I think I actually prefer the Utaha combo over over the Mega Me pro combo, and like this kind of just doesn't do very much in my opinion. Like, okay, against standby, you decide for one. Okay, sure. If or if your opponent places a bomb in front of you, now you're pretty much forced to side. Mm -hmm. Which is just kind of eh, eh, eh. Well, they still get to preserve their bomb. Mm -hmm. Like. You haven't really gotten rid of the problem. All you're doing is stalling for time. And at least with the Bucky Girl combo, bombs are free reversal. Sure, the standby problem still exists, but either way, the standby the standby is still kind of a problem. You're still forced aside. The brainstorm right. helps. The brainstorm still helps, but even either way it's just kinda doesn't it doesn't feel very good in my opinion to play this type of combo. Mm -hmm. This is the only Red Double Rare that I didn't buy four copies of. Right, but e even so, then, uh, if you don't already have like Bunny Girl Union or you really don't like her, then you know this is not. You you could consider this as your level one, of uh, your level one line of play. I I get I get I guess so. Like like uh, I everyone will be crazy for sticking with Bunny Girl, but. But hey, uh, all the power to you. Up. Uh, I'm, I'm giving this playable. I wish we had it, I would give this a playable minus, but I'm sticking with playable here. Mm -hmm. like, Much to my chagrin. <laughs> For sure. Alright. Oh, okay, so I get to read the early claim. Yes, you do. Best magic user you can do. 3 2, 9k, adventure magic. To her left, she gains minus 1 level in hand. Two, if you have two or more other guys, this gains 1500 in hand encore, and she's a heal. Wow, um. What the heck? This is like one of the better early plays I've seen in a while. That has a two or fewer climax in waiting room requirement. Like ten five heal with hang encore. My goodness. Ah, uh, you know, despite Shoko being bigger on offense, being eleven five, I kind of wish she was, you know, ten five with hang encore. Like. The fact is that when when you're actually playing um, in the context of this set, you actually would prefer the head on core because a lot of people are going to try and deny the combo as much as possible. Mm -hmm. The previous problem with the previous problem is that with Aqua, they could they could easily just kill her with a 9k double knocking, give, leaving you with the worst of both worlds. You have no pocket target, and you don't have Aqua swing. Mm -hmm. At least with you and you, if they double knock with her ass, you 
can it you can at least pay, pitch the card you know pitch a worthless level zero who cares and you still have yun yun to attack with the following turn sure the combo is denied they're going to deny try to deny the combo as much as possible mm -hmm. but they can't just double knock double knock and attempt to put you in a very bad situation mm -hmm. now sure either way that you're pitching a card but at least by using Han Encore, you're guaranteed a three soul beater. Whereas replacing Aqua, you may not have a three soul beater handy to replace her with. Mm -hmm. And the fact is that Aqua also hurts your hand by healing the stock, versus this being a standard heal. Sure, yeah. you have to deal with stuff like anti heal, but anti heal is such a low priority on the totem pole that I feel it's not it's not worth worrying about. Yeah, so I would, I would definitely, I would definitely give this the play of a plus. Yeah, same. I'm, I'm just kind of like, wow, co co they gave Komatsuba this type of profile. Excuse me. <laughs> the privileged become even more privileged. Yeah, so it seems. Speaking of privilege, strongest magic user Mega Man, level three, two cost, ninety five hundred power, two soul. Also, when this card is placed from your hand onto the stage, you may pay the cost of this card one card from your hand to your waiting room. If you do, send the top card of your card to your stock. Auto Climax Combo. At the beginning of your attack phase, you may pay the cost of three stock, send one card name, hands intertwined, a door trigger Climax from your Climax area to your waiting room, rest a card in your front row named Best Magic User Union, the healer we just talked about, and this card on your front row. If you do, your opponent chooses one Climax in your waiting room, sends all other cards from your waiting room into your deck, shuffles their deck, and you place all characters in front of the characters you rested for this ability cost to your opponent's clock, and deal 3 damage to your opponent twice. Damage cancel may occur. Holy shit. Yeah. Uh, my goodness. Uh, that's a lot in three in a three card climax combo. Okay, first off, bye bye, bye bye Aqua, the original Aqua, the card that's just named just named Aqua. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. We can think about that. We don't need you anymore. Though the thing is, we only get half of her effect, but that's yeah. fine. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. The clock kicks. They get around hexproof now. The yep. original didn't. Because this doesn't say choose the character, this says all. <laughs> Just die. Like, nope, hexproof. <sighs> you, they don't even have a chance to respond. Yeah, I guess you can see the scary thing about Konosuba is that uh, uh, people do consider Konosuba very much a solitary style of deck. It doesn't care what your opponent really tries to do. <laughs> it just goes, I'm going to do stuff to you without actually entering battle. <laughs> now, the burn threes can be prevented by uh, by uh, by anti burn. Uh oh, resurgence of short way coming. Uh, I was about to say, uh, remember Log Horizon? Remember Log Horizon? I cry every time. Yeah, uh, you cry every time. However, even if Log Horizon does make a resurgence, our boy Shiroe can be dealt with by the Konami code. Mm -hmm. he does not have hexproof. So, no, he doesn't. Not, so, that I, not that I remember. So yeah, I'll pay one castle Konami code, but by sure away, the, the rest of your tribe suffers now. Yeah. And the fact that this is heal to stock. Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. Why does every why does every good level three in the set fucking heal you? Making them that much harder to kill. Yeah, and the fact that that this guarantees that two of their lands also remain on the board to op to allow for foreclosure to be active. Oh yes, and now of course, now of course for those for those of you that are still playing clock kicks, you have two pretty much guaranteed targets. But at the same time, I think the majority of Konosuba players are willing to you know give them their clock kick targets. Yeah. I, I, I honestly don't see that being much of a problem. Mm -hmm. Like even still even still, like even even the proverbial even the proverbial Shoko still has to fear foreclosure. 
Yeah. As yeah. Well. I mean, oh Jesus Christ! I really, you know, I really hope that we, that I don't see a bunch of Konosuba at, at at this year at this year's competition. If there is if there is a competition this year, I really don't. I really hope. So. I really hope I don't see because last year I didn't see much of it. Luckily. Everyone was focused on either uh, Albuta at the time or Saikana. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, I'm, you know, I'm secretly hoping Saikana does not get hit, so people do not, do not hop over the Kawasuba. <laughs> people do not pour this set out to no to no end. I think you can tell exactly what I'm going to give give this card just from my ramblings alone. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I agree. It's just, this car is just... Wow. Can, can you ask for anything more? <laughs> I mean, pretty much. Konosuba was already in the Billionaire's Club. For sure. I, th- I think it just became the president of the Billionaire's Club. Pretty much. Alright, moving along. Watching over gently. Yun Yun. Zero Zero. Five Hundred. Uh, Adventure Magic. Frontal Five. And Brainstorm. Oh god, this is a spammable salvage ditch. Pulse, Bushy Road, Pulse! Yeah, I, I sometimes, like, if there, if, I, I sometimes wonder what Bushy was thinking about these spammables now. Like, yes, there was once upon a time when you had almost no choice, but those days are long gone. We have much more efficient stock outlets. Or, we also have much more efficient ways of going through our deck quicker. I only have one word for this. Understandable. Actually, you know what? Give it the double. Whoa! Even I'm not that cruel. Even <laughs> I'm not that cruel. <laughs> I'm just like, especially in this set, I'm just like, dude, we have a billion, we have a billion stock, stock and hand outlets. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Someday the ultimate explosion Mega Man. Level 0, 0 cost, 2000 power. Auto. When this card is placed from your hand onto the stage, you may pay the cost of discarding a card named Best Magic User Union or Strongest Magic User Mega Man from your hand to your living room. If you do, look at up to the top 5 cards of your deck. Uh, reveal up to one adventure or magic character among them, add it to your hand, send your main cards to your waiting room, and this card gets 1000 power until the end of your turn. So... When I first read this card, I was just like, why is nobody playing this? Literally. But then I reread it, I was just like, oh, you have to pitch one of your two level threes. Like... And if you're flooded... Mm-hmm. This won't help you. Yeah, like, it, it's sounding me at first because Gig 5 does sound appealing and getting an extra power boost on top of that is also pretty neat. But yeah, the fact that it doesn't discard your excess climaxes or events or other things, like, it doesn't, it, it doesn't shape your hand that much better in a nutshell. That's where it's just kind of like, uh, like, again, an, 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 the, another plus side of this card is the fact that this can go find your Aquas and other non-magic characters. Oh, yes. But it, it's, it, it's a worth not being able to discard a Climax or something. Well, this is also Enter the Battlefield, too, which is extremely rare now. Right. Extremely rare. Mm-hmm. Like... I mean, they've tried pairing up, you know, forcing you to pitch a Vanilla. You know, mm-hmm. we saw that in um, Albuta, mm-hmm. and I was just like, eh, okay, like, yes, I'm playing the two requisite cards, and four copies of pop, but the problem is that, normally, in Oz's style effects, I want to get rid of climaxes. Yeah. Climaxes, climaxes, climaxes. Mm-hmm. And this don't help me, so... No. Like, now, the plus side to this card is, it's extremely cheap, so, but, so is Wiz. Mm-hmm. So, even in the budget decks, I can't really recommend this card, so, you know what, it's just, just give this the niche, please. Alright, yeah, like, it's neat, but I don't think this, this doesn't solve the problem that Oz's uh, type profiles are trying to solve. Mm-hmm. At least not 
the full problem. It, it solves only part of the problem. The right. dig, dig, digging up to one card deeper. <laughs> and That's and right. in the case of uh, Konosuba, um, get you I guess any level zero non magic characters. <laughs> I can't think of a single one that I'm running besides. Um, yeah, I can't think of a single one. Teaching Ori. <laughs> Next. Shy. Yun Yun. 0 0. 2k. Pitch the strongest magic user Mega Me. When this enters the battlefield, you may pay the cost if you do. You may, you may uh, return all the cards in your, in your grave to your deck and then shuffle. Okay, so specific hangout of the level 3 Mega Man in order to use your holy shit button instead of playing the level 0 Aqua equivalent for 2 stock. It pretty much depends on what you value. Are you valuing. Like, I see this in a lot of the, um, the Aaron style of deck. In the Union profiles, I would definitely recommend the Aqua actually because she's also. She's also a hand down too. Mm hmm She's all so you know, honestly, like, I'm planning on testing this in Union as well. Um, by Union I mean Bunny Girl Union, so I think that's the that's honestly still the better play. Uh boy. You know without further testing, like eh, you know, free refreshes are really nice. Mm -hmm. You know, not having taking that refresh point. I'm gonna get this to playable actually. Yeah, like you you can't go too wrong. Even even if you have a discard a very specific card for this. It just so happens we're running four copies of that card. So you're like, okay, I don't I don't mind losing one of them. I'll I'll find it I'll find it again by level three. Yep. Alrighty, next. Op op Komeko. Uh level one, uh 3k and she has the magic and sister traits. A continuous, when you will pay the cost of an event uh, that you play from your hand, you may put a marker from underneath this card to the living room in the middle of one stock for that card's cost. Uh, when this auto, when this card is placed from your hand onto the stage, you may pay the cost of resting this card. If you do, look at the top card of your deck and place it face down underneath this card as a marker. And auto, when your other character reverses an opponent's battling character, choose one of your adventure or magic characters, and that character gets 1,000 power until the end of the turn. It's nifty. I'll give it that much. I mean... I, I, look, I looked at this card and I was like, Did Sinful Gear come back from the grave? Now, of course, this set is nowhere near as heavy, um, event heavy as Simple Gear was. This the is true. Problem, the problem with this, the problem with this card, in my opinion, is, is that number one, we don't have space. Two, what events besides foreclosure are most players playing? Mm -hmm. Like, despite despite the Konami code being so good, I see a lot of people disregarding it entirely because of the Cosmo, the Cosmo requirement. Right. Like, um, on top of that, I forget, is I a truth cost for this or is it a one cost? Or respect play rather. <laughs> Which cost was, wasn't it? I think it's costless, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think so. But in terms of that, like, um, I see, I see like one or two people playing this card and I can see the merit behind it, but at the same time, um, there's not that many events that I would play, like, maybe, like, this could shape one turning foreclosure into a 2-2 two -two event, but there's not that big of a difference between the 2-2 two -two and 2-3 two event. So, mm, I'm gonna have to give this the niche, honestly. The snowball effect, I don't really value much either. Yeah. It's hard to justify space, especially when it's a level 1, not level 0. <laughs> I think I think I'd rather just hard cast like friendship crystal or the Konami code rather than just them play this. Yeah. All right. Versus Mage Killer with one zero four five. ETB, look at the top card of your deck. You can either leave it on top or 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 bin it. It's the surveil effect. And when this attacks, um, choose one of your other uh, magic or adventures, and they gain X power or X is five hundred times your others. Okay, uh, so Shimakase Kai with Surveil. Neat. Quite nifty, actually. Um, 
this is a variant of the Futaba from um, from Albuza. Now, now we already do have a Shimakaze Kai effect at home. You know, the two five from Winko. Mm -hmm. But this, quite, um, if you don't have those or they don't have them in stock, this is definitely a pretty reasonable substitute. Honestly, it turns mm -hmm. Bunny Girl Union into a nine K versus nine five and. I can't really think of that many scenarios where the extra 500 makes a difference. Like, you're still not killing standby. Sure, you might. Sure, the you might be able to force the double knock with 1175s with their 2k counters, but that's pretty much the only scenario where I can really think of that the extra 500 matters in mm -hmm. most com against uh, most common decks. Mm -hmm. Um, but I'm gonna actually have to get this to playable rating now. Yeah, um... We'll be here. Um... Surveil with Shimakaze Kai is definitely a neat uh, combination of abilities to have in my book. I mean... As a, as a, as a former Magic player, I definitely do like my surveillance. <laughs> For sure. Alright. In case of emergency, Megu Man. Level 2, 1 cost 2500 power. Auto. When you use the backup of this card, you may pick a cost of this card, a card named Strongest Magic User Megumin from your hand to the waiting room, and send one of your characters on your stage to the waiting room. If you do, choose one of your opponent's characters with a higher level than that of your opponent, and send it to their waiting room. As she is a uh, level 2, 2500 backup. Bushy. Why are you giving privileged sets even more privilege? Yeah, um... Yeah, what, what in the actual heck were they thinking? <laughs> uh, I, I mean, I mean, my god, mate. So, your typical sack counter costs three and sacrifice. Uh -huh. This is pitch, pitch a relatively dead card in your hand. Like, additional copies actually don't help, don't help with um, comboing out. No. And the fact that you get a sacrifice, like, if you use this in the right scenario, this acts as a money counter. For and two cards and one stock. Well, three, two cards from hand, one card on board. <laughs> that's that's already pretty ridiculous, if you ask me. Like, holy shit. Yeah. Oh God, um, this, is, this, can, this can be almost as good as foreclosure in certain situations. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh. Holes, Bushy Road, stop making mistakes. <laughs> I'm gonna have to give. I'm gonna have to give this. Um, this is gonna be a bit controversial, but considering the context of this set, you're probably gonna disagree with me. I'm gonna get this a playable plus, actually. Yeah, I'm just gonna be like, I don't know about playable plus. Just because, uh, one zero two man is still a card. <laughs> And uh, yeah. it, 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 you know, in the worst case, you can uh, you can use that to f over cards that play standby targets that don't have encore or have only the pay one have only the pay one to rest itself recursion. But the I mean, you gave you gave the my anti change counter from Albuta the playable plus. So did I really? Yes, you did. Wow. So I was just like, I was like that. I was just like that is just strictly worse than this. <laughs> Let me think about something here. Again, if we're gonna go off like by the context of Tigers here, the reason why I give this playable instead of playable plus is because that uh, one zero Mega Man actually changed, which acts like the Mai, but on a cost switch backup exists, and um. I, I don't know, like, uh, I, I feel I like value having it at 1 a bit more, just because of the reasons I said earlier with regarding standby matchups. That, that's, and, and you know what, that's, that's fair enough, that's fair enough, I just wanted to point out, well... Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, like, 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 like I, I, I love me, I love me discard to backups because they're also a very nice way to get excess cards out of your hand as your opponent's attacking you, especially right before a refresh. Like, oh, you know what's ironic is, for the anti-change counter, for the like, we've actually flip-flopped our opinions on the anti-change counter from this set compared to Albuta. Hmm. 
I yeah, you, 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 you like this one a little more because you're like, okay, this sounds bonkers. I know. I, I don't disagree, guys. It is a bit bonkers, but at the same time, I feel it's, it's, a, it's very hard for me to play. It's like, it, maybe if anything, you could play both this and. Yeah, I mean, I'm currently testing out one and one. Yeah, you could try both, um, if, if anything. See which one's better, in my opinion. Yeah, I feel it. Um, but you know, I, I think overall, I think the one zero Mega Man just carries just that much more potency because of the fact that standby is becoming ever more proliferate. Uh, yeah, I kind of wish that standby would kind of just go away. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a tough one. Yep. Alrighty, next. Shy Smile, Mega Man. 2 1 4K Adventure Magic. When this attacks, choose one of your other guys with either Adventure or Magic, and they gain X power, where X is 500 times your magic it, or Adventurers. And when this becomes reversed, if the battle opponent this is level 2 or lower, you may reverse them. Great. Another Shima Kase Kai, but on a caustic card level 2, that will probably have next to do at that level. You know, at first, I was like, I had to double take. I was like, wait a second, why is this a, why are they putting level 2 bombs on a level 2? This should be a 1-1. One, one. This should be a 1-1. One, one. The Shimakaze Kai effect is kind of whatever at that point. You don't really care about that. The level 2 bomb is just kind of whatever. You can clean up the remnants of their standbys with early plays at that point. Like, I think I'd rather just play like Union or Aqua, and just destroy their um, destroy their standby standby in two two with that, as opposed to something like this. So yeah, how about now? <laughs> Understandable. I was thinking, uh, yeah, I, I've kind of like uh... has next to nothing to do. Alright. Reunion after a long time wins. Level 2, 1 cost 5k. Continuous says all of your other characters in front of this card get X power where X is 500 times the level of that character. And act, uh, pay to discard one card from your hand to the weight room if you have another card named Strongest uh, Magic User Mega Man. Uh, choose a card named Hands Intertwined the Door Trigger. Climax for the combo in your weight room and add it to your hand. Okay, so they make the climax, they make the combo pretty much brick proof. Thanks, Bushy. And on the low system of cards? My gosh. <laughs> oh my god. Like, the, 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 making the combo brick proof is already hard enough. Like, like you, even if you trap the, even if you trap the climax the previous turn, you could just sit, just go, okay, I'm going to pay two, pay the cost of two. Oh, look, it's in my grave now. Play it. It's like, oh, my God, really? Come on, Bushy. You really want us to play this? You really want us to play this profile, don't you? Yeah, I mean, like, that's the game that Bushy was really doing these days. Really trying to make, like, these uh, pseudo standalone decks uh, playable, where, you know, you only need to buy cards from the one set that's the most recent. And you don't get worried. You don't get worried too much about the cards from previous sets, unless you want to go super, super optimal. But Bushi was like, "We we know we got some players who want to play like only Legend of Crimson or something like that." Like, and even then, you don't you don't have a terrible deck by any means of the word. Oh no 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 no! Got a very very good deck from just Legend of Crimson. I mean, they tried that with South Tenth Anniversary. Albuta was kind of the exception in that case. Like Albuta is still recent enough where you could e still easily find cards from prior sets, but even then, I eliminated an over half of half of set one from that deck because it's like the right. set one card like, people love with garbage now. <laughs> like, like, you mean you mean uh, pretty much a uh, friendship ended with my now Shoko is my best friend. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and she wears a very, very mysterious blue cloak over her head. Ahem! <laughs> oh, but, um, but anyways, yeah, enough, enough tirades about Shoko. Um, Wiz, oh, like, 
The only problem with this card is the stock cost. If it wasn't for that, yeah, I would definitely play this. And mm -hmm. if you're, and if you're like, and if you're on a budget, like, in, or you're only restricted to new cards, definitely play this. Mm -hmm. I, I would definitely give this the playable rating. Yeah, same. Part of the whole package deal. Yeah. Um. Special, special speech, yun yun, 2 1, 7k, adventure magic. If you have four or more guys on board, she gains minus one level in hand. Climax combo. Put Roaring Thunder, the red stock, sir, from your, from your climax area to the grave. When the battle opponent this becomes reversed, you may pay the cost if you do. Look at up to the top four cards of your deck. Choose up to four magic or adventures among them. Reveal them and add them to hand. Pitch the rest. Um, so I heard y'all like to high roll. Oh, wow. It's really yeah. funny, like, how ever since they made a Joker from uh, Persona 5, uh, they, 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 they sure are well coming up with these, like, newer versions of, uh, <laughs> these, uh, early play, uh, pseudo level 1 combos on the level 2 profile. <laughs> at least, at least there's no real way of powering this card up, like, at least that one that you could easily fit into, to like a Union and Mega Mean deck. Like, sure, you could argue the um, the two five boost, but that's about it. Like, this card is very susceptible to anti change. Like, if I were the opponent and I have an, a response, a response at one, definitely I'm anti changing this card. Mm -hmm. Like, but no, I I I rather you don't just plus uh three so casually. Or, or, put, I mean, if they, honestly, if they can plus the fucking thing, holy shit. Um, like, uh, you're just kind of like, yeah, I just lose. <laughs> you pretty much just, you either, you're either about, you're either just lost the game right then and there, or you're about to lose. That's pretty goddamn hard. Now, bear in mind, this card has zero selection. But, honestly, at that point, you don't care. No. You just don't care. Like this makes the dig through time profile look look tame. And <laughs> but at the same time, you know, this doesn't really jive well with the brainstorm since it's on a stock sold, not a gate. Right. So <laughs> if, if if anything you 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 play this on more of a something like uh, a stock sold build. <laughs> Go back to playing a resonator. <laughs> Or you can go, or you can actually play Wiz now. Or play Wiz, yeah. Well, but anyway, uh, I I have only one comment for this card. I'm gonna be nicer than that. I'm gonna get this the niche writing. Okay. okay. <laughs> Amen. Amen. The, the, the potential to snowball, like, <laughs> like we, we're joking. We we're just joking here, but at the same time, this can be scarier than Futaba from from Albuto. You're not wrong. <laughs> I, I wouldn't be surprised if, like, I have a, cer a certain friend of mine who, like, who plays this town on a budget decide to, like, c come out at me with this thing when we can finally play again, like, I don't know if he, if he wants to play Good Skype after quarantine ends, like, nine plus months from now, after time against recording. <laughs> anyway. Oh, but at the same time, I'm sticking with Money Girl you again. <laughs> Okay, convenient transfer magic wins. Uh, level 3, 2 cost 10k. When this card is from your hand onto your stage, you may choose a character in your waiting room that is either adventure or magic and return it to your hand. And also, when this card attacks, you may pay the cost of 3 stock. If you do, send the bottom 4 cards of your opponent's deck to their waiting room and deal X damage to your opponent where X is the number of climax cards among the cards sent to your waiting room this way. Damage cancel may occur. So, Icy Tail, and a very expensive Icy Tail. <laughs> like, the utility of this isn't so bad, like, it's salvage, like, you fir we, we first saw this on um, Alice from 10th Anniversary Sal. That was a tutor, by the way. They nerfed it into a salvage this time. Mm -hmm. Though, 
in that particular deck, I actually found the room in th in this deck, or in this particular set. I can't find the room for this, honestly. Like, I probably thought this is like a one mm of -hmm. maybe. If that, but like, if, if if anything, like, this is nice to be able to get like an extra instance of damage without having to without having to go super um heavy investment on say the level three Megumin. Uh, we had pitch an additional two cards to burn the five. But at the same time, I think I'd rather spend the three on casting foreclosure as a defensive countermeasure. That is true. But, so, but even then, I think you can argue like this is still, you, if, if you could find a room, this is still serviceable. Oh yeah, definitely. So, if I could find the room, I would definitely play one copy of yeah. this. This is definitely a playable, playable right. in my opinion. Yeah, same. But anyways, that's that's the neat thing about uh titles like Konosuba. There are just so many usable cards out there, but you just kinda like I can only fit so many. Well, like for example, if you're still on the Wiz finisher, hello. This is actually pretty neat. Yeah. Okay. Breaking out in a cold sweat, yun yun. Zero zero. One K. When this card um gets reversed. Uh, let's see here. Put the top four cards of your deck into the grave, and if there's an unreasonable command Mega Man, you may return this back to your hand. And she's also a level zero bomb. All right. And I guess uh, while we're on that note, we might as well also go over unreasonable command Mega Man. That's fine. So I guess I'll take over that one since it's, it is an all number card, <laughs> so I wouldn't really yeah. mess up the order too much, which means I'll just be going twice in a row. Alright, so Unreasonable Demand Mega Man. Uh, level 1, 0 cost, 2500 power. When this card is reversed in battle, send the top 5 cards of your deck into the waiting room. If Unreasonable Demand Mega Man, i.e., this card is among them, you may send this card to your hand. And when this card becomes reversed, uh, if the level of the battle opponent of this is level 1 or lower, uh, you may reverse that character. So they are kind of the same card. <laughs> So, you know, level 0 okay. bomb that can recur herself, and level 1 bomb that can recur herself by knowing the same card. I mean, neat, but nice beam, bro. You're giving it meme. I, I, wouldn't know, I don't know if I would call, oh, uh, well, I guess, alright, because people have memed about KMS style decks, sure. I, I I remember that uh, some Mad Men tried to make like KMS style decks in like Cinderella Girls or something. Okay, um, Nick, K K KMS with possible recursion, very yeah. very very good, bro. <laughs> very good, bro. All right, my name is Fungi Fura. Level zero, zero cost, fifteen hundred power, just magic. Also, when this card is placed from your hand onto the stage, uh, you uh, surveil one. And also, when this card attacks, if you have one or fewer other characters, you may send the top card of your deck into your waiting room. If that card is a level 0 or lower character, place it onto any spot in your back row. Neat. It's actually quite neat, actually. Mm -hmm. but, but the problem is, is that, again, like we've been saying, Jesus Christ, we're out of space, we're out of space, we're out of space. <laughs> yeah. Like, like uh, Kamasuba is such a hot, has such a very overall high quality of cards in his card pool. Like, at first, you wouldn't think that, but after having played the deck, oh my god, it's hard to make the space, man. Like, if you're on a budget, perfect. This is absolutely perfect, because perfectly serviceable, you get a surveil, like, you even get an additional chance of, um, of milling a you know a dead card on top let's say it's like a level three or something and you don't want to trigger it anyway okay sir get the heat that out of here <laughs> yep you can get that out of here and get another chance to get that level zero in your back row yeah so i'm gonna have to give this the playable rating actually yeah because it's one of the better ones in my opinion like yeah we've seen some that are just kind of like you know you would have been a little more serviceable if you had like a better second ability <laughs> I mean, kind of, uh, kind of ironic that I gave Shoko a niche rating and this the playable, but that surveil, man, it's pretty valuable. Yeah, I agree. All right then. Sightseeing at the Crimson Demon Village, Megami. Zero zero two K. Alrighty. 
when this enters the battlefield, you may pay the cost of clocking a card from hand, adventurer magic. If so, check top three, add one to hand, it's the rest. This is one of those, one of those cards where I look at it and I go, man, if only you released just, a little, just one set earlier. <laughs> Even set, even even if this was in the context of set two, and before, I still wouldn't have played it because, well, it's just we had more efficient card like Our resonator found its target, and and oftentimes, I don't actually have that much issue fi finding foreclosure. So right, really but, but I'm saying like this could be like you know be before our on death level one coma existed in this set. Uh, this would have been kind of neat to play as like a tech, uh, before. It's, I mean, like because, a one, like a one of one or two of, just because you know, that extra chance to like find a climax or something. That's true. That's true. But at the same time, yeah, I wish this was clock any card from hand. <laughs> the, the oh man! But unfortunately. I think I actually prefer um, the Chibi Don, the Cosmo, over this. Hmm. Yeah. Chi oh, that's right. Cosmo already existed. My bad. Yep. Yeah. And he's from step one, so. Um. But at I, the same I, time, I, again, yeah. But you know, I, I know that there are people who play like Waifu Mega Man, so. Oh, a certain associate of ours. Several people. Oh. Right. He ain't well, the only I one. <laughs> Oh well, I mean, Megumin Ma 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 is a girl that many people uh, would really, really like to experience her explosion of. <laughs> I I see. So I'm gonna have to give this. Uh, it's still some. It's still somewhat like it, like again, like I said before, if we had playable minus, I would give it this. I'm gonna be safe here and give this the playable rating actually. Whoa, playable! I'm not that nice. Yes, for me. Cosmo ex uh, as my colleague here reminded me, Cosmo exists. <laughs> well, you'd, probably, you'd probably agree with me though, if we had a playable minus, you'd probably give a- we'd probably meet there. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Just a little. Okay. Oh boy, I gotta do this card. Excellent as self-introduction, Crimson Demon, comes in four different arts and has two power- uh, zero zero cost 2,000 power. <laughs> when this card is placed- from your hand, I don't think it has the adventure trait actually, it should only be magic. I was about to say, wait a minute, magic only. Anyway, uh, when this card is placed from your hand onto the stage, you may introduce yourself. If you do, your opponent may also introduce themselves by name. If they do, all players send the top card of their deck into your stock. Please be mindful with the volume of your voice. And also, at the beginning of your opponent's attack phase, you may move this card to an empty spot in your front row. Uh, uh, uh. Really, really, Bushy? I mean, this is very, very good flavor. But the problem with the problem, <laughs> with this, I mean, the the free stock can easily be denied by your home to saying, "Nah, bro, I don't feel like embarrassing myself in public." <laughs> I mean, te technically, get, get, all you have to do is just whisper it to you. That's that's very true, but at the same time. <laughs> I mean, okay, okay, imagine this. You're in that room in Rochester. You, you know exactly which room I, I'm talking about. Yes. And your opponent, and your opponent summons this card. And your, and your opponent introduces themselves. Now would you? Hey, I'd be perfectly fine with that. Dang, just for the free stock, eh? I, I, I like me my stock. At the same time, at the same time, mate, I'd just be like, oh, really, really, really. <laughs> oh. Sorry, I, 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 I like me some meme flavorful cards. <laughs> you, you, and I think you know, I think you know exactly what I, exactly what rating I'm gonna give this card. Is it this? Yes, of course. <laughs> Soul Sleeper and I would love this card. <laughs> Like, I just wrecked this card, I had to like, like do a double take on this card when I first ran outside, wait a minute. <laughs> this this card's great. The fact that it's also a free runner. Yeah, like, free, free runner with uh, a, a little neat flavorful benefit. I, I like it. 
That's all right. <laughs> Dealing with magic, Wiz. Alrighty. When when this enters the battlefield, you may pay the cost of one in hitting yourself. If you do, you may tutor for a for up to one cost zero or lower. Adventurer magic whose level is equal to or lower than your level, and place it onto any place on the board and shuffle. Oh no! Yeah, we're, we're kind of like weren't, weren't we done with these ages ago? But no, apparently Bushiro thinks that there's still a market for this. I mean, it, it, I mean, I gate. Oh my God! Why, Bushy? Why? If I wanted a Ricky S profile, Takitsubo, Takitsubo Darkness from from set one has my back. True. And that is much better than this piece of trash. I think you. I only have one comment for this. <laughs> yeah, like I'm. I'm kind of like. If any, I was kind of like, were there any like level one cost that had like a possible, oops, that had a possible um downside when you're playing from hand, but are big on the board or something? In Komosuba? No. no, not really. I mean, like there is a one zero six five whiz that's level zero on the board, but her downside is she gives um, the slot in front of her clock on court. Yeah. Uh, uh, wait, no, what, wait, wait, uh, what, wait, no, I'm trying to remember, wasn't there a 10 Zero Mega Man that has 7,700 7, power printed, but on play your opponent uh, brings the top card of their deck onto the board if it's a character? Beginning of Encore Step. RIP. <laughs> Beginning of Encore Step, so... I, I, I tried. <laughs> uh, I mean, they can put Best Girl. Uh, uh, as the image for the card, and I still oofed it. Right. You know, I, 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 I was trying to think, like, do you set one has some kind of CIP level one costless downside that we can use this to bypass? <laughs> even then, even then, it's not worth digging yourself and paying one for it. Okay. I, 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 was, I, I was trying to see if there was any way to redeem this, but I guess not. <laughs> Unrivaled Soul Mega Mean. Unrivaled Rival Soul, excuse me. 1035, Adventure Magic. During your turn, she's a 7 5. That's it. Cool. <laughs> we just, just told, told me what uh, Kongo Subangi gave more beat sticks. You know what's funny is, Slime has this exact same profile. Uh -huh. And the Soul Sleeper and I were just like, Bruh, 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 bruh. I was like, okay, this car the card itself is bad. Let me explain the lore behind this. And I'm just like, is there? I, I don't even remember the lore behind this card. That's just how bad this card is. Like, Can we have only one comic then? Yeah, make it the double actually. Whoa, that's too cruel, but okay. I, 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 like, I'm sorry, I'm not as cruel as my colleague here. <laughs> I'm only cruel about sets I care about. Damn. There is, there is, I, I have a higher standard for y'all. <laughs> okay, that's fair. Fierce Engagement Wiz. Level 1 costs 4500 power. Also, when this card is placed from your hand onto the stage, this card gets 1500 power until the end of the turn. Act! Discard one climax from your hand to your waiting room. This card gets 1500 power and the following ability until the end of the turn. Also, when this card attacks, reveal the top two cards in your library. Your opponent chooses one event or character from among them. You add that card to your hand and send the remaining cards to your waiting room. So, they printed Factor Fiction on a cost on a combo list bot. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, I, you know, low, low key, I've been kind of missing some of these uh, discard a climax on uh, act to gain an ability. And Factor Fiction is arguably one of the better ones. Like, I yeah, it's it, it, it's better than just an on reverse draw one. <laughs> I, 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 how did you know? How did you know I was gonna reference that? <laughs> Son of a... Oh, but yeah, I was just like, um, it's better than on reverse draw card. Like, at least we're guaranteed a replacement as opposed to 
you ditched a cart, you got they countered, you got you got denied, and you cry now. Yeah, that's that's a good thing. Gives us an EQ reverse. So uh, I, I like uh, like I like this as a possible CX out <laughs> if. You... And this card's pretty big, seven five by itself. On the turn, and yeah, and then it, it just only gets bigger. You really have that many CXs to go ham on. <laughs> so if you're that flooded, you're probably dying very quickly. <laughs> True, but that's that's why you're gonna be digging uh, top two uh, that many times. <laughs> That is that is very very true. So you know what I'm, I, I I wish I had the room for this actually, but unfortunately I don't. But again, if I were playing Legend of Crimson Limited, um, I would def I would definitely at least play one or two of these. So yeah, playable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I I you know I'd be I'd be, I'd be pretty neat for a, for a determined idea at some point. Play. Pick, pick, pick one set. Build only from the one set or something. <laughs> That's basically limited, dude. Yeah. But but unlike limited, you're not like let me get you like X packs. Yeah, what the packs give you. Yeah, I I'm saying like constructed, but one set only. Oh okay. Yeah. Oh, by the way, for those of us, for those of you that are confused about what limited is, limited is a Magic: The Gathering format, basically where you get X amount of packs, you open them up, and you try to build the best deck you can out of those X number of packs. With X amount of basic lands that the store provides you. Yes. Yes. And usually it costs about twelve bucks. Something like that. And it's a very neat way to enjoy Magic without, without actually having to buy Magic. Uh, constru constructed Magic just costs too much. True though. Anyway, before we before we get uh, flagged by wizards, wizards like a coast. <laughs> important fellow, important fellow, Megami, seven zero five five. Uh, if you have no other magic or adventures, this does not untap during your next untap step. And when this enters the battlefield, you get a surveil. You see how many surveils are ready today? <laughs> Uh, a billion of them? <laughs> but now we see it on a basically a vanilla. Hey, 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 it's not, it's not a hundred percent of vanilla. It doesn't untap if you have, if it's, if it's by itself. This is true. But, <laughs> but if it's by itself, that is when you know you fucked up. Alright, uh, but even then, we've, we've seen better surveil cards already. Yeah. Uh, I, do we have? I do we? We only have one comment. Yep, we only have one comment. For this. <laughs> oh, oh. I mean, it's not bad enough for me to give it the double. In this case, like, I value the surveil enough to do it, but yeah. But but we we saw like several other things of surveil. <sighs> Thanks, Rap. Right. Very cool. Okay. <laughs> Party member, Yung Yung. Level 1, uh, 0 cost, 5500 power. Continuous. If the level of the character opposite this is, has a higher level than this card, this card cannot front attack. Also, when this card is placed from your hand onto the stage, send the top card of your deck to your waiting room. If that card is level 0 or lower, choose an opponent's cost 0 or lower front row character and send it to your waiting room. Climax cards are triggered as level 0 for this ability. Yeah, po possible snipe if you care. Like, and like you know, if you combine this with other surveil cards, you could pretty much either increase your chances or guarantee that this pops off. But at the same time, like, I don't know about you, but the amount of cost zeros that are relevant for me to kill with this is shrinking and shrinking and shrinking and shrinking because. I've noticed one of two trends from majority of players. Either their shit is so tiny that you're gonna kill it on the offense, or their standby decks, which are costed bodies. True. That you can't kill with this anyway. Mm hmm. Um. I think it'll be a little lesser, maybe give it niche. Whoops. I mean, this is neat for the one card mill, I guess. But at the same time, uh, you know what? I'm gonna be I'm gonna be nice to this card and give this to niche as well. 
Okay. But mm. I, I think you've noticed the trend too, haven't you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Reg, reg is reg is quite the range of stuff here. Alrighty. Next. Covering fire. Yui Yui. Two one two five. She is just magic trait, guys. Alrighty. She has the auto ability. When you use the back of this, you may pay the cost of a four. Discard adventurer magic. Choose one of your opponent's guys and tap it. And she's also a two five counter natural. And this is where we turn to the phrase of the Koma Silva need this much more privilege. Yeah. Oh, why was she? Like right, we like they get you have this and foreclosure as disruption options. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, not to not to mention the sack counter as well. It's like really, really, like this. Like I was teetering on the um, the Aaron combo or Bunny Girl, but a card like this definitely put puts me in the buddy girl camp because we're gonna need the stock in order to cast this cast this and foreclosure. Mm hmm <sighs> Like uh, my goodness, what in the heck is Bushiro thinking with this set? Pulls, pulls. This is this is so good, like I was debating with a lot of other players about this. I'm like, why not play this card? Like tap counters are amazing. Three zero plays theirs, and I don't see any reason why we can't play ours. Yeah, I pretty much yeah I agree with you. Like, like I, it, it's one of those things. Like I'd rather have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. Cards. Like, like in worst case, cool. I have a twenty five hundred backup that I never actually need to use the full potency of. Or, or hell, if, or hell, if the matchup doesn't require it. Fuck it, level off of it, level or ten or clock it. Oh yeah, like okay, cool. I don't, I can't get this card anyway against you. <laughs> so, honestly, you're probably gonna disagree with me on this one, but we're gonna have to go with the playable plus. Hmm. Well, I have given Priscilla and Razor a playable plus. I, uh, uh, you know what? I, 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 I like, I like searchable tap counters. <laughs> You're actually gonna agree with me on this one. The, the, the fact that we typically see tap counters on events uh, versus characters, and this only being the second one in the entire game that's actually character, unless uh, did, were there any between Priscilla and Yui Yui? I don't think so. I'm trying to think of all the tap counters that I know about. They're all events. They're all two, three events that require you to have a full. Board. Or two, four. Or I believe and, ja I believe Jack Brothers was a two, four. And Kimono Friends is a three, three. But that's also an event. But again, you can easily tutor for that event in Kimono Friends. So that so this would be like so this is the third searchable tap counter. That, that's on a body, yes. So yeah. Well, sec second on the body, third. That's actually searchable in that case. The, the fact the fact that um the fact that it's on a body, it and that Bushy Road so rarely uses it should tell you how good this card is. Yeah, and again on top of that, like could they have at least been off trait or something? But no. <laughs> no. The no, the premise is real. <laughs> Alrighty, next. Welcome Komeko, level two, one cost eight thousand power. Auto climax combo. When this card attacks, if you have a card named I'm Back and Welcome Home, which is a plus two soul, uh, you may pay a cost of one stock. If you do, choose up to three cards in your opponent's waiting room, uh, send them to your opponent's library, and your opponent's stuff with their, li their library. <sighs> Neat, I guess? But... Like, typically, if I'm going to shuffle in three damage, I want to be able to finish my opponent. Yeah. You yeah. guess it's very much a very, very nice slash meme card. I'm going to get this the nice meme. Whoa, okay, already meme worded to you. Yep. Hmm. Is, is this really meme worthy? It's not as meme worthy as say Grisai, I'm gonna loop my plus two soul over and over. Hey, Grisai at least has the benefit of if you fail, you stop charge two. 
Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll be a little nicer. I'm going to give it this. Okay. okay. <laughs> I, I, I guess it's not meme territory. <laughs> you get your very spicy card. <laughs> Alrighty, today the potion magic mega meme. 3 2 10k adventure magic. <sighs> Climax combo. When it touches the battlefield, if you have choose up to one explosion, what up to one one explosion a day, the red stock soul in your grave and return it to hand, and this card gains a thousand. Climax combo. Put all the cards in your hand and your stock into the grave, and also send the send the climax that we just that we just picked up to the grave at the beginning of your attack. If this is if it's a standing in the front row, and you may pay the cost. If eight or more cards were sent to the grave by the cost of this ability, put all of your opponents level three or lower into their grave. Then put all the cards in your opponent's opponent's grip. Our opponent's deck into the grave, deal X damage to your opponent, and then tap this. X is the number of today's explosion megamine in your level zone. Okay, so let's unpack this card one day at a time. <laughs> so, uh, if, if, if we manage to give up all of our resources and it happens to add up to eight or more, we uh, get to basically nuke our opponent's board. Um, we get to force them to refresh, and deal up to 3 damage to our opponent. <laughs> I mean... This, this is technically uninteractable. Technically. Yeah, uh, outside of the opponent being able to have an opportunity to use Encore abilities, or the Encore provided by the rules, uh, nope, uh, Gavin's right, it is pretty much uninteractable and just proves to just proves to show that even in meme cards like this, that Konosuba is just like, no, I'm gonna play Solitaire. Now, the thing is, is that this is proof that uninteractable combos can still kind of suck, honestly. Yeah. That isn't exactly 100% god awful, but at the same time, you gave up literally everything. Yeah. Uh, to basically deal, well, one guaranteed form of damage in the form of the force refresh you gave your opponent. Um, and you get three damage, probably three damage you do this, right? <laughs> and this is... The last time I saw that you had to give up all of your stock was a Kagi Kai. That was, I think, six years ago? Seven. And that, I mean, that was literally her biggest drawback. The fact that you had to give give it up. Give up everything for it. Well, give up all of your stock for it. But you're getting really careful because you probably ended the game that turn. Potentially. Potentially. Because you feel like her with Musashi's. Poten potentially. Potentially. She didn't always kill. Right. But more often than not. <laughs> more often than not, yes. With this, it's very spicy if you're on an extreme budget, I guess, but even then, I think... I, I'm, I'm pretty sure the only people that play this are like, you play it because you want to go, EXPLOSION! And that's it. Pretty much, like, even the budget players, I think I'd rather just play Wiz, honestly. I have uh, only a few comments for this. Yeah, give this the nice meme, bro. I'm, gi I'm giving it a uh, triple meme rating because you're doing up to three damage with this. <laughs> you know what? I'll, I'll agree with you on that. <laughs> Give it the triple meme. The triple meme. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it, like if I actually see this at high level comp, you know what? I I, 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 I almost feel obligated just to give them the match at that point because they're like, like, okay, you have the boss to play this here. Fuck yeah. Like, Sir or oh. madam. Sir or madam, you actually have the balls to play this card. <laughs> <laughs> Understandable. Have it. <laughs> You've provided me enough entertainment to make it to make it worth it. <laughs> okay. Beauty and Yukata Megumin. Uh 
Well, with zero zero cost, five hundred power. <laughs> when this card is placed from your hand onto the stage, you may pay the cost of sending an adventure or magic character from your hand into your clock. If you do, search your library, search your deck for up to two cards named Incorrect Understanding, uh, Yung Yung, uh, number sixty-three. Uh, reveal them to your opponent, add them to your hand, and shuffle your deck. And when this card is placed from your hand onto the stage, you may pay the cost of sending two characters with adventure and or magic from your waiting room into your deck and shuffle your deck. If you do, choose one of your characters and that character gains one soul until the end of the turn. And for those who don't know, uh, we'll just go straight into Incorrect Misunderstanding Union because it is just simply a level 0 3k vanilla. If it was in only the top set. If it was only the top sentence. Oof. Oof. Mm -hmm. Oof. But the bottom sentence makes it not so oof territory, but at the same time... Man... All of the other Yukata cards were actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. Like... Well, we haven't gotten Kibu yet, so... <laughs> well, I mean, all... At least the ones that we've seen so far. <laughs> and in this case, I'm, you know, like, vanillas aren't as bad as most people make them out to be. They're, you know, they're pretty much guaranteed to be card advantage in the majority of cases. Mm -hmm. There are yeah. so few, you, there are so few profiles that run them over. I mean, there are profiles that do run them over, it's just that people refuse to play set profiles that run them over. Yeah. So, that's... That's what makes that that's what makes vanilla is not so god awful. And the fact that and the fact there's actual interaction with vanillas more so than ever now. They're trying to make vanillas viable. Yeah. But unfortunately, she rode. Like I think the closest they've gotten is the Azusa from um from Albuta. Mm. But at the same time, I mean, I do not I I don't I don't think this is good enough honestly. I'm, even with the bottom sentence, the oof anyway. I'm gonna have. I only have one comment for this one. <laughs> Do I agree? Uh, clocking a character from Kochi get you vanillas and getting us. Yeah, we. I. I have oof as well. I mean, the fact that you have to shuffle in two damage to get them plus one soul. In addition. To be fair, the best time to use a thing like that is when you're like down to your final card or final two cards of your deck or something, and you want to guarantee triggers. Or I, if you're like... I, I, I try to be very careful with return X cards, or return cards on attack or on placement. Like, they're nice to have, but I try to be very careful with when I use them. I mean, they're really nice in something like Goblin Slayer Yellow. Yeah. Yeah. You turn those triggers back to deck, so your opponent hopefully dies. True. <laughs> but in but that's a very that's a very niche scenario. Right. I see I see people playing the Asna. That 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 has the exact same text. Hmm. But yeah, uh, that's more that's more than just a bump Yuki. Mm hmm. But yeah, let's move on, shall we? Mm hmm. Megamine and Komeko, 0 0 1500. Alrighty, during your turn, this is a 2 5. And with this battlefield, you, you may reveal the top card if it's adventure or magic. Choose one of your guys and get them 2k. Resident Sweeper card is Resident Sweeper. Like Cole, it can give 2000 power on play and it is extra information. But, uh. I think I actually would have preferred the handout. Right. But that, but again, that's magical Christmas land talking. That's it's, the head of the player talking. Yeah. Uh, like it, it's not a terrible card. Like I said, limited, limited, limited. All right. Give this to me, please. Yeah, I, I was thinking more along those lines myself. Okay. Yoi Saburo and Yui Yui, level 0, 0 cost, 1500 power. Continuous, your other front row center squad character with adventure and or magic gets 1000 power. And act, 
Uh, pay to stock rest of this card. Search your deck for a character with Megumin or Komeko in its card name. Reveal it, add it to your hand, and shuffle your deck. Another case of Bushiro, your math don't add up. Back in the day, it did add up. Back but, in the day. But nowadays, um, yeah, I'm sorry. Paying two for a card, it does not add up, Bushiro. No, this... I actually find the first sentence more useful, even though it's just a thousand pounds. But again, our slots are very limited, and unfortunately, I don't need the reversals so badly that that I would actually make room for this card. Yeah, I'm sorry, but in limited, maybe, like, but even then, I'd probably pass over this card. I don't know about this one, dude. What do you think? I'm gonna say Nish to be on the safer side. It's not a terrible card by any means. Or it's not like super terrible is what I mean to say. I'm gonna give this the Nish, honestly. Yeah, like... If you're, if you're better off strictly off this set, maybe you could justify... some space for this. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. maybe, yeah. Okay, my name is Arude. Zero zero, fifteen hundred. Cannot play backups. The damage dealt by this card is not cancelled. He grows up to seventy five hundred to be specific. Uh, level zero. <laughs> yep. That is uh, kind of funny. <laughs> that is hilarious. Uh, I guess this is this, this cat only gonna be rigging then. Nice meme, bro. <laughs> like, cool. Let me let me just casually swing here for seventy five hundred. Oh, I, I I actually got canceled. Never mind. <laughs> oh, I, I I'm gonna attempt to destroy this thing. What is its power? I don't know. <laughs> I, g g g g g this can't possibly become seventy five hundred because you you can't you can't really do need to tell your opponent <laughs> what are the possible ways their characters can grow. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. But in terms of its actual power, I don't know yet. It's fifteen hundred or seventy five hundred. This 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 is Schrodinger's battle phase. Oh man! Not the Schrodinger's cat theory. I'm getting deep the flashbacks now. Thanks. Okay. Alrighty. Next. My name is Dodonko. Level zero zero cost two thousand power. Auto Lingus cards place from your hand onto the stage. If your opponent has one or fewer characters in their front row, choose one of your opponent's cost zero or lower front row characters and place it into their waiting room. And Auto Lingus card is placed into your waiting room from the stage, you may pay the cost of two stock. If you do, salvage one magic character in your waiting room. Bushy Road, how many times do we need to tell you that two stock does not equal a card? Your math is your math is crap. <laughs> <sighs> and still, part, part of Bushiro still believes it's the year 2015. Yeah, they kind of need to get with the times. Like Bushy Road, Bushy Road has data, and they can they know exactly what players play. No, I wasn't wasn't it as recently as like 2017 that uh, some I think like fake decks or something running the. Uh, Archer and Lancer equivalent of pay two on Death Salvage. Yes, but that was pre Heaven's Feel when Fate was still a dog shit deck. Whoa, that's a little too cruel. <laughs> oh, oh, come, oh, come, dude! I said, dude. <laughs> all of 2017, all the majority of 2017, I sat across a guy who played nothing but Fate and complained that he got destroyed every game by Triad Previous. All right. Anyway, but but before That's... before we resurrect, don't even dog dog. Oh, oh, pulls no, pulls no. <laughs> that means specifically the man I'm talking about. Anyway, anyway, so before we resurrect, uh, before we resurrect that document, um, so the bottom sentence we've already we've already stated. Bushy road, ma Bushy road, your math is whack. <laughs> and the fact is, this can, this can, like I said before, 
the amount of cause zeros that I want to automatically destroy, especially in front row, like, is ever shrinking. Mm -hmm. Like, for full value, I'd obviously want to destroy a one zero. Because, oh, yay, I can cast this. Destroy your runner. Oh, your opponent goes, sure, it's dead. You can have it. Like, it's just wild. <laughs> like, at best, maybe you could justify destroying a puck, but that's like that's like one of the few targets that I can think of off the top of my head. Like, even gang, if puck if puck is so long, puck is tiny. Well, puck's six five, dude. If puck is alone, puck is tiny. Oh yeah, puck is, puck is alone. He's tiny. But that's the thing. Guess this implies that a character is alone. Basically oh. alone. Unless... Oh, well, okay, sure. In the French case that you're saying Amelia back row card with a puck in the front row, sure. <laughs> but, like, can you think of any other worthwhile possible in the game? Banana clear cut? It is a level 1 3 k <laughs> Yeah, but... But when, but yeah, okay, yeah, banana clean cut. I guess. <laughs> oh yeah, she is kind of annoying. I mean, uh, anything else? That's pretty much it. Well, that's pretty much about it. That's pretty much about it. Besides the fur. Another, the other, another one would be something like, I don't know, your opponent ended up uh, on the later turn. Your opponent decided to crap out of Verney with like one other card in the back row. Okay, it's... Well, like, maybe you want to kill their anti-heal, but... What would the anti-heal be doing in the front? Oh, well, okay, everything in front row, yeah, yeah, you can kill the anti-heal, yeah. But, in often times, do you actually even care about the anti-heal? Right. Like, like, Grisaya, maybe their anti-heal, but even then... <laughs> mm-hmm. I think you can just laugh because you're a much better deck than Grisaya. Sorry Grisaya fans, but yeah, you guys suck. I'm gonna have to give this the niche. Yeah, there, there are French cases where sniping out a front row zero can help. Oh, uh, cost of zero. Cost it zero. Level one. It could be a level one. It could be a level one. It could be a level two. It could be a level three. <laughs> hell, hell, actually. Uh, could be a level five. <laughs> remember Haruka from 765? Yeah. If that deck was still dominant, you could probably make a case of, yeah, I could kill Haruka for free. Though, at that point I kinda go like, why would you leave Haruka with one other card in the back row? <laughs> True. <laughs> free ma freezing magic wins. Zero, zero, 2k. If there's a marker underneath this, this game is plus one level and 1500. ETB, reveal the top card of your deck. If it's Adventure of Magic, he eats it as marker. Uh, neat. 3500, possible 3500 level 1 uh, beef stick. I mean, so Bushiro, please take note. This is how you make a sizable, a um, sizable level, sizable level 0 correctly. This is, I think this is Chisato? Yep, Chisato clone. Yeah, Chisato clone from Bong. So, like, if you want to make sticky level 0s, this is how you fucking do it. Not mm -hmm. zero zero four Ks with downsides. You cannot play backups or events from hand. <laughs> uh, excuse me, sir. That is very relevant in this set. <laughs> very relevant in this set. True. That, that means they can't foreclose on your ass. Yeah. Or play anti changes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude, dude. If I saw a zero zero four K. Front, 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 front. <laughs> No, no, fuck it. I'm gonna side that card. Side that card, but I fuck everything else. <laughs> oh yeah, let them plus that card all day long. Let them plus. <laughs> if they don't catch on, which the majority of people are not that attentive, when they try to foreclose on you at the end of the game, uh, excuse me, sir, you have that, you have that zero zero four k that I've kept alive. The entire oh, there we go. Oh, fuck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, uh, game we can. I'm, I'm gonna give it to playable. Yep. Even, even if even if you have trouble finding space, you can still. There there are times we can just go like, maybe I'll try like a couple of copies of this. 
for, I, at the very least, test it out, see if you actually like it or dislike it. <laughs> and as I've been saying, it's great and limited. Mm -hmm. Alright, anyway, uh, you again, because you're already addicted to vanilla. Devilish sister, devilish younger sister, Komeka. Zero, zero, four k At the beginning of your climax phase, your opponent may pay two. If they do, this card cannot fun attack. A new type of downside for the level 0 4k profile. At the end of the game, if you have to feel this is a shitter, your opponent can pay 2 and effectively money counter this card. Yeah, pretty much. Uh... The, thing, the thing is though, it's hard to evaluate this downside because how many players do you know that would commonly money counter this card? Until it's the end of the game, definitely not. Like... Th this is one of those scenarios like I just described earlier. I will let them plus this card for a while, because... If I really need to, I can nullify this card entirely. Mm -hmm. or my but my opponent will probably run this over eventually. Mm -hmm. Themselves. Mm -hmm. Because... After level 0... Maybe level one? This card is killing it. Right. This might be able to kill like the stray level one climax combo, but even then, majority of those are like four like four like five five on defense. They're at least vanilla. Mm -hmm. They're at least vanilla on the defense, so even then You're probably gonna need to try very hard. I think this is pretty much a um is it bad enough to just give it the bag? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna be safe. I'm gonna I only have one comment for this. You 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 think it is that bad? Mm -hmm. The fact that your opponent can money counter this card. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like uh, the fact that this can be money countered at any given time. Well, effectively money countered. Yeah. Okay, fine, well, we'll use a more proper term. It can be gnawed. Gnawed? <laughs> oh, I think we'll just stick with the money countered. <laughs> it, it, took me a, it took me a second, I was thinking, oh, no, no, he's referring to the Charlotte Nowell. Yeah, God damn it, now that my brain is a, is a, is a fucking database on this game. <laughs> yeah, it'd be like that. Death Confession Union. Level 1, 0 cost 4500. Also, when this card attacks, if you have two or more other adventure and or magic characters, this card gets 2000 power until the end of the turn, and has character hand on core. Why, oh why, oh why. This ain't, 20, this ain't 2014 anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bushy Road, but... I think I'd rather I think I'd rather play Melly Clover for this. Or the Wiz from set one. Bad? <gasps> yep. Despite Union being best girl, yep, gonna have to. I am Union of the Crimson Demon Clan. Look at all of the friends I have. Yep. Cliff side confrontation, Union. One 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 K. When you use the back of this card, mill top three cards of your deck. And it's a 1 1 2k, guys. Ooh, ah. I think you can tell from the enthusiasm I have reading this card. I think you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm kind of like, did, did, did Kongosu would never have this profile before this deck? There's scobbing all the way. So, there is a 1 1 2k counter from set 1 that gives you a refund. It's called Ice Assist Realist. Yeah, I remember that. The problem is that they're never going to give a 102k for Magic specifically, but nowadays, even if they did, I wouldn't play it. Mm -hmm. You really just kind of like, I have walls to defend in this deck? Nah! Well, unless you count one of your buddy girls as well, but she's a 6k. She's easily destroyed. Yeah. Impressed, Mega Man. Level 2, 1 cost, 3k power. Act, rest this card. Draw one card and discard one card from your hand to your waiting room. Or act. Rest this card, choose one of your adventure or magic characters, and that character gets 3000 power until the end of the turn. 
like, yeah, I know which mode I'm going to be using a lot more. <laughs> <laughs> hand filter's good. Yeah, hand filters are pretty good. 3K. Um, Every now and then. Does Aqua really need 3,000 additional power? Or Yun Yun need 3,000 additional power? Every now and then. Yeah, maybe. I mean, if you're having to be facing one of those people that still lives from, like, 2016 with thick, thick walls as their early plays, but even then, I think you can beat those decks because your cards are just far more efficient than theirs, so... Uh, you know, despite the draw ditch, like, I can't find room for this. But, you know, I would, I would say you could possibly still justify... You could still justify at least trying it out. Yeah, one copy, playable. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was like... Yeah, your score is definitely usable. I, I I've been too harsh throughout this review. I need to be I need to be nice again. And, and this is a card that we can definitely be a be at least a bit nicer about. Yep. Yuni and Yukata, Yunyu, two one six k. All of your other adventure are magic skiing one thousand. And and when this enters the battlefield, you may choose the bottom part of the clock and a magic character in your grave and swap them. I looked at this card, was kind of like... Are, is there a way, like, is, is there any reason to make additional card fixing in Komosuba? I don't think so. Actually, there is. You can be extremely greedy with blue and yellow and play this card to alleviate those problems. For example... But uh, blue, how do you swap blue with this card? Oh, it says magic character. Excuse me. I, I wish we yellow you have Kazuma. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I messed up that for a second. I was like, oh, I, 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 I wish this could color fix blue. <laughs> Man, if this could color fix blue, uh, I think we would have. I think I think we would have included it. I think we would have included it on um, on the day one build. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to give this the niche at best. I would have changed it to playable if we could call this swap for blue. Yeah, nice for me. Hey, being able to cast foreclosure and aqua while being super super greedy, I'll take that. <laughs> Alright, my turn again. Overflowing magical power, Yung Yung. Level 2, 1 cost, 7,000 power. When this card is placed from your hand onto the stage, this card gets plus X power until the end of the turn, where X is 1,000 times the number of your characters with adventure or magic. And also, when this card is placed from your hand onto your stage, you may pay a cost of this card a card named Strongest Magic User Megaman from your hand to the waiting room. If you do, salvage one adventure or magic character from your waiting room. Okay, Bushirod, take some notes. This is definitely how you make a deadly assassin card. I actually ordered a few copies of this card, but like, hey, I get a 12k beater, and it gives me, and allows me to transport dead copies of the strongest magic user Mega Man into actual usable cards. Say, for example, Aqua or Yun Yun if I meet the condition. Mm -hmm. Or, or hell, I can grab that Cosmo that I need for Konami code. Right, and even again, this card will probably be swinging for uh, this card will be at base probably ten thousand, eleven thousand easily, or even twelve thousand. You play with a full board. I was about to say. But 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 hey. 10 to 11k is probably more reasonable because you're probably playing her to set up for something. That's true, and 10, 10 11k can still easily destroy early points. Mm-hmm. So... Uh, but probably playable, and is this a common? What the hell? Yeah, this is definitely a common. I was very surprised. I was like, is this common? I was like, this, this, I was like, this could be at least an uncommon, but okay, Bushiro, <laughs> whatever folks your boat. Uh, like I said, dude, there. I feel there are two development teams for every set. One for that every set. Cards and one that designs the garbage. Yeah. I'm gonna have to roll with the playable ones. Yeah, I, I agree. This is like I was like I was like wow, this is actually pretty decent. All right. Forbidden weapon, two four. If you do not have Cosmo. Alright, Joe. If you, whoa, 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 whoa. if you do have Cosmo, excuse me, uh, send this to exile. 
Recollection. A2, send all the forbidden weapons from exile into the grave. At the end of your opponent's turn, if this is an exile, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose up to two cards in your opponent's grave and put them on top. Then deal, then burn them for five. When paying the cost of this card, you may put a Welcome Comeco number 55 from your hand into the grave in place of paying to stalk. Which is the plus two soul combo. Yep. Okay. Delay burn five. And, well, delay, delay decompress your opponent uh, by two. And then burn five. Yep. Okay. Cool. <laughs> I think you know, I think you know what I'm going to give this entire package. Is it gonna be ringing? Of course. Okay. Nice meme, bro. <laughs> I mean, I, it's it's nifty. It's nifty. Yeah, I agree with meme. It's nifty. It's a little funny to pull it off. <laughs> like like, hey, I was saying this to memory. You have one turn. <laughs> before before it goes off. Yeah. Uh, speaking speaking of going off, we do have this card from our set part one of this review. Um. You want to give us one again, or...? Sure. Scope set cosmic. 0025. Zero, 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 Adventure magic. Pitch a card, salvage the forbidden weapon that we just covered. And give it the same rating as the actual event itself. Yep. Nice meme, bro. Nice meme. <laughs> card costume us up to some antics in uh, Legend of Crimson, and we don't really know what it is. <laughs> Alright. So, uh, that will about end it for this very long part 2 of our Konosuba Legend of Crimson set review. Tune in next time for part 3. Yep, we'll be covering the rest next time. Alright, see you later.